This product is not similar to Google Nest Hub or Amazon Echo Show, but it has some kind of smart display design to it. This is the Vobot Mini Dock, a 7-in-1 docking station which is unlike any other USB-C docking station I've tested before. I have been using docking stations or hubs for many years. All these years, my docking station just stays in the background allowing me to expand the connections of my laptop. But this Vobot Mini Dock Hub or docking station does more than just expand connections. It allows you to perform actions, interact and use its smart screen display. To simplify, this is a docking station to expand laptop device connections, has a color smart display, allows custom app development, has a Vobot app gallery, built-in Pomodoro timer, Toto list, play games, and many more. If you are looking to improve your computer desk work efficiency or make work more fun, this is a device you may want to consider. Now, let's explore the details of this device in this video. My Vobot Mini Dock Package has arrived. Let's open this. There's two boxes in the packaging. The Vobot Mini Dock Box which looks quite simple with the brand and product name at the top and the product sketch at the front. The other box is a VR 3D gamepad and remote. Let's see what's inside the Vobot Box. This is the Vobot Mini Dock user manual which seems to explain a lot of information such as specifications and functions. A braided USB-C to USB-C cable is included. This is a USB 3.2 cable with 10 gigabits per second speed. This is the Vobot Mini Dock which looks pretty compact and reminds me of digital alarm clock design. Let's look at the design features of this device. At the front is the screen which consists of a LED dot matrix clock display and a 2-inch IPS LCD display. The case is a semi-transparent shell which feels solid and the base has a non-slip rubber pad. To interact with the screen interface and apps, these buttons are provided. The top is a rotary button and below is a press button. On one side is a USB-C port that connects to a computer's USB-C port. It supports 90 watts power delivery charging output to the computer. On the other side are two USB-C 3.0 data and charging ports. Power delivery is not available here. At the back, this is the USB-C power input that supports 100 watts. HDMI output that supports 4K resolution at 60 Hz. An Ethernet port if you need to use wired network connection and a USB-A 3.0 supporting data and charging capability. This is the VR 3D gamepad and remote that was included in the Vobot package. A small box with the specifications printed at the back. This user manual comes in dual language which includes English on one side. The gamepad feels solid and compact in design. It has the controller buttons and at the side there is a game or key switch. On the side is a button with a mouse icon. For people with larger hands, this controller may feel too small or uncomfortable to use. The back cover can be opened for battery replacement and it requires two AAA batteries which were included. Now, let's set up this Vobot mini dock. Connect a USB-C power cable to a power adapter or power brick. It is not provided in the package, so I'm using my existing one. Vobot Mini Dock turns on and the device shows a Wi-Fi hotspot name. To configure this docking station, you will need to connect to this hotspot using any device such as phone, tablet, laptop or PC. I'm connecting to the hotspot using a mobile phone. Select the Wi-Fi hotspot that matches the Mini Dock. Next. Visit this URL on the same device connected to the hotspot. This will load the Vobot configuration page. Select and connect to the Wi-Fi connection that you want the Vobot mini dock to connect to. When the connection is successful, 
the mini dock will sync online and show the current day and time. Pressing this rotary button selects the OK option and now the device is showing that a new firmware is available. You can download now or do it later. This is how the button selection works. To select download, I need to click the rotary button and to select later, I need to click the press button here. I'll perform the upgrade later. Although this is an USB-C docking station, it has its built-in software and apps that run independently without connecting to a computer or laptop. This 2-inch screen is where you can view and use the apps. Let's navigate the app list. This is the PC hardware monitoring, screen mirroring, game emulator, now playing, Todoist, calendar, weather, stock, cryptocurrency, Pomodoro and settings. To get the latest updates and features, it is best to update to the latest available firmware. To do this, select Settings, select My Devices, and select Software Update. This shows that a new firmware is available. To update, select Download. The firmware download and upgrade process may take some time and once completed, the software will restart with the upgraded firmware. Before using the built-in apps, it is best to configure application settings to make the most out of the apps. Go to Settings, then select Application Settings. Open the link by typing the URL or scanning the QR code. This will load the Mini Dock App Configuration page. Selecting your city will allow local weather to be displayed on the Mini Dock display. In this page, there are other settings that you can do for Pomodoro Timer, Link to Doist Account, Stock Selection, cryptocurrency selection, screen mirroring and game emulator. Once configured, the Vobot screen becomes a very useful display for monitoring information. Let's look at all the included apps. Now playing allows you to pair your phone and this allows you to see what music is playing, answer or end calls or get alerts for messages. Screen mirroring needs to be set in the app configuration page. Once done, and by using VNC, you can mirror or extend your computer screen to the mini dock screen. Game Emulator allows you to play retro or classic games on the mini dock screen using the Bluetooth gamepad which was included. You will need to go to Application Settings to add games. Pomodoro is a productivity timer that is an effective way to keep you focused and motivated. Calendar displays in monthly format and you can go back or forward to view. Weather shows the current weather based on the city selection in the app configuration page. Stock shows real-time stock information that was selected in the app configuration page. Cryptocurrency shows real-time cryptocurrency information that was selected in the app configuration page. Todoist is a to-do list service and you can link your account in the app configuration page. PC hardware monitoring shows real-time computer performance such as CPU and GPU details. This has to be synced with a computer for it to work. I'm going to show you how to use Vobot Minidoc to extend a laptop screen to a second monitor. I have a Surface Go laptop and a TV with HDMI input to be used as a second screen. Connect HDMI cable from the TV to the Vobot Minidoc. Connect USB-C cable from the laptop to the Vobot mini dock. In the laptop window's display settings, change the display to extend to a second screen. I now have a two-screen workspace and a docking station where I can easily monitor important information such as stocks, cryptocurrency or the current local weather. Personally, I think this is a great upgrade compared to standard USB-C hubs or docking stations out there. Vobot Mini Dock with its display and app support actually makes work more productive and fun. I love the real-time stock information and also life weather data. I do use a Pomodoro timer on my phone, so having it in the Mini Dock is quite useful for me to keep track of my working time. There's more for me to explore in this device as it supports more apps from the app gallery and you can also code your own apps. The opportunities are endless as it allows you to turn your ideas and creativity into reality. If you would like to find out more about Vobot Minidoc, I have provided the product website link and the Kickstarter link where you will find super early bird offer price when the product is introduced. I hope you learned something new in this mini docking station video. On TechTube TV, I make easy to understand videos on technology related topics.
If you like my content, please consider clicking the subscribe button to follow my future video uploads. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.